Hare Krishna. The night after a quake, the stars still shine in the sky. Don't let the misery of your life blind you to the beauty of life. In our life, disasters, calamities, catastrophes can befall us. And when these happen, when our whole world comes crashing down, how can we bear it? How can we recover from it? How can we possibly go on with our life? One way is to look beyond our life. If a devastating earthquake occurs, then a whole village, town or city may be in ruins. And if it is a night when a quake has occurred, or it, after that quake ends, if someone looks at the sky, then in the sky we still see the star shining. And there is a sublime beauty to the stars in the sky, a beauty that is not affected by the ghastly things happening on the earth. Similarly, our world may come crashing down, but still the world remains. And the world, if you look at the big picture, has an ethereal beauty to it. And to the extent we can see beyond our world to the world, to that extent, we can avoid getting blinded by our problems. Yes, our life has misery. And there is no denying it. But life is not all misery. But there is beauty to life. And there is ultimate beauty beyond the misery of this life and this world. The Bhagavad Gita reveals a grand vision to all of us. Wherein we see that we are all souls. Beyond, the, beyond our destructible bodies, we are indestructible souls. And beyond the distress that afflicts us at the bodily level, hope springs eternal at the spiritual level. And not only does hope spring eternal, but we, along with hope, there is opportunity. The more we raise our consciousness to the spiritual level, the more we can find strength even amid distress. The more we can find God's healing presence even amidst the world's hurting influence. To, look be, to not let our vision get locked in the world is the key to transcendence. If we let our vision get locked in our problems, that is ignorance. The Bhagavad Gita cautions in 1835, that to keep worrying, fearing, lamenting, being morose, all this signifies ignorance. When the world threatens to subsume us in ignorance, it is, it behooves us to take shelter of the Gita's wisdom and raise our consciousness toward transcendence. By looking at the stars shining in the sky, by remembering that God still loves us, that our soul is still indestructible and the opportunity for spiritual evolution still remains for us, we can keep moving forward in our life. Thank you. Take Krishna.